Have you ever thought about this? When we talk about water, we generally talk about either fresh water or salt water. But at some point, these two have to meet, right? What happens then? And in the blue corner, necessary for the survival of most terrestrial organisms, fresh water! And in the other blue corner, to spice up your food with a low osmotic potential, we give it up for... Salt water! does look like fun, but not exactly accurate. The transition zone between, for example, the freshwater river and the ocean is called an estuary. An estuary is defined as the tidal mouth of a large river, where the tide meets the stream. But living in an estuary is not all that easy. Let's check it out. So in this episode, we're following this freshwater river out to the ocean and the mangrove forest. As we travel down the river, we notice a complete change in the type of trees that line the coast. A very typical form of tropical estuary is the mangrove forest. And mangrove forest doesn't just mean one species. It's a collective name for around 50 species that have special adaptations to survive in really salty environments. Water from the mountains or from inland freshwater mingles with salt water from the ocean. Not very many plants can live in such a salty environment, but the mangrove is really specialized in living in such a place like this. Mangrove forests are often subjected to large tidal changes as well as heavy seasonal rain periods, resulting in great fluctuations in salinity. Such fluctuations really put organisms to the test when it comes to dealing with salt. A lot of the salt is excluded from entering the plant already by specialized cell membranes on the root. But not all. 